Hey, what's up everyone? Eric from LED Grow Lights Depot here. Today I will be reviewing and testing the Enlight SunDisk Series 600 watt LED grow light. Let's take a look at it now. The Enlight SunDisk LED grow light is comprised of two separate panels. Each of the two units measures 40 inches by 8 inches by 2.75 inches. The entire fixture weighs 30.2 pounds. Each panel contains five separate discs, each with its own integrated driver. The discs are powered independently of each other, making this fixture unlike any other LED grow light on the market. Other lights typically contain one or a few drivers that power different sections of the LED grow light. The advantage of this fixture is that you can remove one disc or a few discs and the light will continue to operate as normal. The fixture is constructed from aluminum and is passively cooled and rated at IP66 and is fully waterproof. The unit is designed to replace a 1000 watt double-ended HID grow light. The Enlight SunDisk LED fixture can be used in home grows or commercial settings that require high intensity lighting. The diodes are proprietary. The manufacturer told us that the diodes were designed by Enlight but manufactured by Philips. Therefore, we can expect good manufacturing quality. Each disc contains 119 diodes. The diodes are covered with opaque lenses to help diffuse the light and protect the diodes. The efficacy of the unit is around 2.3 micromoles per joule, as stated by the manufacturer. We don't have an integrating sphere to measure this, however, assuming this is accurate, this is one of the most efficient grow lights on the market to cover a 4x4 area. The PPF, or photon, output of the fixture is 1,472 micromoles per second. So again, this was estimated, and we did this by multiplying the wattage by the efficacy. The Enlight SunDisk 600 watt draws around 640 watts at the wall, or about 320 watts per strip, or 64 watts per disc. The fixture is rated for 120 volts and pulls 5.63 amps at 120 volts. The Enlight SunDisk Spectrum is full spectrum white and it's right around 4000 Kelvin. The white light spectrum allows a working environment where you're able to see the plant's natural colors. The spectrum is heavy in blue, it's about 450 nanometers, but also has a large bump in red, around 630 nanometers. The high amount of blue in the spectrum leads to increased flower quality and density. There's a lot of green in the spectrum too, and this helps increase photosynthesis and canopy penetration. There's no UV in the spectrum, but a healthy amount of far red light. Growers can use the spectrum for full cycle growth from seedlings to veg to bloom, but the intensity of the fixture is really meant for flowering. The flowering footprint for this LED grow light is a four foot by four foot area. The hanging distance is recommended at at least 24 inches. At closer distances, the uniformity starts to decrease. Higher distances will lead to lower par numbers, but higher uniformity. The uniformity and intensity can be altered by moving the fixtures closer together or farther apart. The uniformity on this fixture is very competitive compared to other LED grow lights that have a very high center par reading but very low side and corner readings. This fixture demonstrates that it's better to spread the light out over a larger area than it is to concentrate it in a small space in the center. If you wanted to dim the light intensity down, say for the vegetative stage of the grow, you could unplug a couple of the discs. This will help save energy. I tested the PPFD of this fixture in a 4 foot by 4 foot grow tent. Now keep in mind that the reflective nature of this tent could increase PPFD readings everywhere, especially in the corners and the edges. So let's check those readings out now. And our first reading is going to be in the center at 2 feet and just over 800. Back of the tent, looks like 400 PPFD. Corner of the tent, about 225. And the other side, about 400 PPFD. So notice how that PPFD climbs really fast as you start moving in towards the center. And then move to the other side. I mean, it stays right around 800, 900 plus for most of the width of the tent. It's just in the extreme corners and extreme edges where you get lower PPFD. And those numbers are still pretty good in the corners and edges compared to other LED grow lights. So this design of the light allows the uniformity to be quite high around the tent. So we're really happy with these numbers. And now we're gonna do a ch quick check at three feet. So three feet, you're gonna get lower PPFD in the center, but higher PPFD in the edges and in the corners. 
just because the light is a little bit higher so you get better uniformity. So if you wanted to raise the light up a little bit to get better uniformity, you could do that. In the rare case that you have a problem with your fixture, the Enlight SunDisk 600 watt fixture comes with a three year manufacturer's warranty. It is ETL listed, CE certified, ROHS compliant, and IP66 waterproof and dustproof. The MSRP on the Enlight SunDisk 600 watt is $960. However, you can use the code Enlight10 at checkout for an extra 10% off bringing the price down to $864, plus free shipping in the lower 48 states and no tax, of course. If you want to learn more or purchase the Enlight SunDisk 600 watt LED grow light, click the link in the description and give this video a thumbs up and comment to let us know what you think about this light. And if you want more content like this, subscribe here for updates. See you guys.